Can we do it? Yeah. Lady Zaydal, MA Connect TV, standing backstage at your KO number 32 with Liam Harrison. How are you? I'm good, really good, thanks. Uh, I'm just recovering from injury at the minute, but I'm back training now. And uh, next fight's on 23rd of November in Philippines. Amazing. Yeah. Who are you against? Um, I'm not allowed to say it at oh. the minute. They've told me I'm not allowed to say it, but uh, it's a really big fight and um, it's on a massive show. It's on a uh, one championship promotion. Brilliant. So I'm um, looking forward to showcasing my skills on a uh, big stage like that. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely one of the biggest stages that are out there, right? Yeah. Um, the last show they held in the Philippines had 18,000 people in the crowd. So to fight in front of a crowd like that, it'll be the biggest I've ever fought in front of. So that's like a, a fighter's dream to be able to be put on that sort of stage and be able to showcase yourself. And Chatri, is it Chatri? Is that how you pronounce his first yeah, name? Yeah. He, he seems like the type of boss that you want to fight for. Yeah, of course. All he's doing is just signing the best of the best. Um, so there's going to be no mismatches or anything like that. It's just the best fighters fighting the best fighters. And um, to be signed on a show like that, it uh, shows that I'm obviously at a decent level. So I'm happy that I'm still getting signed for these big fights after even after fighting for all these years. Absolutely. I know you were meant to fight tonight, your schedules, and obviously you, ha you had the injury. Um, this is kind of like your local ground, you know, you kept. Yeah, I've, I've rarely missed these shows. I've been fighting on these now since like 2014 or 2013, I think. And I'm a regular. I am the Yokao champion as well at 65 kilos. To not be able to defend my title tonight was a bit gutting, but the next show is in March, and I'll 100% be back on that one to defend my belt. Good stuff. In terms of, I, I mean, there's a lot of young up-and-comers uh, on the stage. Obviously, the doors are open real early today. Um, for, s for someone like them, you will be a huge inspiration. And even just having you here to watch them fight and being in the crowd, they'll take massive inspiration from that. Um, how does that make you feel? Uh, yeah, it makes me feel really good, to be honest, as well. I've been looking forward to watching some of them fight. I've, there's a few who caught my eye, like Stuart Stabler and a few of the other lads. Lyle McCready just fought then. I'm really impressed with him. Um, but Stuart Stable especially, I was really looking forward to going and watch him fight. He didn't disappoint. He uh, won his fight pretty comfortably and dropped the guy a few times. And even stuff like Jonathan Aggett is fighting main event on this next show coming up. I think Jonathan's only 20, 21 still. Uh, Joe Craven's only 20. They get fighting Jake Purdy. So there's a lot of good up and comers, young, up and, uh, young up and comers. But this is the, the show that always showcases them and they always puts them out. And I think... When it is this shock alley, everyone goes to another level as well. Like the fights, I'm always more entertaining. Everyone gives that little bit extra, and um, there's always a bit of blood and a lot of gut spilt on this show. Yeah. What do you think is the one thing that they should hold on to in fighting like a show like this? Because a lot of them are coming from community centres, you know, uh, town halls, and this is a big stage for them. Yeah, of course. Just don't let the nerves over overcome you on this one. Um, just enjoy it. Treat it. Just another fight. Fight your heart out. Fight your hardest and enjoy it. I know yourself, have you just launched a new website, a new training website? I have, yeah, um, liamharrisontraining.com. Um, it's going really well. We launched with about 120 videos, like technique videos and stuff on there. I'll be adding to it every month and trying to add different stuff to it as much as I can. So what is it? You sign up and then there's a lot yeah, of tutorials, it, is it? It was for basically, I was getting a lot of messages from America saying, I'd love to be able to train with you. Do you have an online site? I want to do PTs, but obviously I can't. I'm too far away. I want to learn from you. So I was getting so many messages like this. I thought, you know what? It's, now's the time to do it. And um, now I don't have to fly over. I'll be in the gym with me to learn from me. They can learn from me online. And it's all the techniques that I teach in my PTs, my seminars, fight tactics. Even I've even just put a strength and conditioning module on there that I do for when I fight as well. So hopefully there's, there's a bit of something on there for everyone. Are you able to pinpoint what is the reason behind your success because people can train all their lives they can train hard they can you know get the technique down but it takes a certain quality to become a successful fighter like yourself yeah i've been obsessed with thai boxing ever since i first started it so you need to be obsessed with whatever you're going to do whether it's thai mma k1 whatever but i've also had a really good team behind me i've been lucky to train like probably the best gym for the last 20 years in, in the uk um i spent some good time in thailand as well and i always i was dedicated and like i say i was obsessed with what we're doing i always wanted to learn i always wanted to better myself i always even when I won big fights, I always wanted to fight better the next fight. So, um, yeah, as long as you've got a good solid team around you and you've got that work ethic, that's what you need. Well, listen, on that note, I'll let you get back to everyone. Thank you very much. It was lovely to have you on the show. And as I was saying to you, everyone enjoy the takeover that you've done. Oh, thank you. I'll <laughs> do another one if you want as well. No problem. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll have you. Absolutely. You can see my dog and cat play all day again. <laughs> Is it Luna, isn't it? Luna and Bella, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all those fighters are softies at heart. They're yeah, like, show the yeah, dogs right. again. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me on. No problem. Thank you very much. Cheers. Liam Harrison for MA Connect TV.